As April was mentioning, it's a lot colder out there, so you might need a better jacket. Uh, or to even layer on more so than the last couple of days. Freezing in Evanston, mid 30s for Park City. It's 51 right now in Salt Lake, 60 in Moab, mid 60s in St. George. All these readings much lower than they were 24 hours ago. However, high pressure is building back in, will dominate the weather pattern this week and bring more hot weather. But by the end of the week, another storm settles in off the coast. So it'll move through this weekend, cool us off again. And out ahead of that Friday, we'll get some gusty winds that might lead to an increase in fire danger again. Now, today we're going to be recovering after uh, that strong cold front moved through, but with the cool air in place behind it, we're only going to make it to 70 in Salt Lake, well below normal for this time of year. You'll peak near 60 in Logan and Park City, mid to upper 70s in a lot of the Central Valleys and in St. George up to 92. Now, there might be a few more spotty showers that pop up later today as a little weather system brushes by uh, along the Idaho border. Uh, any canyon winds in southwest Utah, Washington County in particular, should be decreasing over the next few hours. Uh, quiet weather for the next couple days, but again, with that high pressure building, it gets hot all the way up near 100 in St. George tomorrow. 1 of 6 on Thursday, and then dropping down into the 90s again by the weekend. So even though it will get baking hot by the end of the week, you'll get a little bit of a break right after that. And for northern Utah, we're going to make it into the upper 70s in Salt Lake City tomorrow, near 100 on both Thursday and Friday. That next weather system moves in this weekend, brings about a 30% chance of showers to the Salt Lake Valley, and cools it off a little bit. It's still going to be very warm, but uh, a lot more comfortable than at the end of the work week. Temperature will drop down into the mid-80s by Sunday and then down into the low-80s by next Monday.